hello everyone so today we are going to work on this projectiles so as you can see uh, we can shoot projectiles bullets and they acting as projectiles from the gun so that's what we are going to work on today okay so so far in this system we can aim but uh, we can't shoot so for the show I'm gonna implement some projectile based shooting systems uh, bullets should be projectiles because uh, unlike uh, in the normal shooting mode with our character we need to see specifically the bullets going away from the chopper that's how usually we see those things uh, firing from helicopters work in games so um, I'll create a projectile actor first here in the guns create a blueprint class actor right so here I'll add a mesh mm, for now let's just add some cylinder and align it with the red arrow Match the forward. Let's set the, make it look smaller. Let's place this in the level to see how large it is. So this is too large. okay that should be fine right now here when I shoot sorry in the attack helicopter we have fire action So later on we will have different firing modes the missiles and uh, normal bullets so to fire bullets i'll create a function custom event fire mg stands for machine gun right now when i fire what i'm going to do is i'm going to spawn bullets but one more thing so if I have some moment here we need to detect collisions as well so I think to work properly we have to make this cylinder the root object then let's add the project and moment and set velocity 100 uh, we have about 10 like that let me simulate and see what happens if I did move like that okay but how do we orient it properly oh, well let me undo the change this I did right let's keep it like this and add project movement here let's add another for collision purposes let's add another cube oh yeah cube and let's 
let's make that the root. Now CMD is not much visible. Okay. Where is the delete? This falls down. Ah, I didn't add an initial velocity. working all right is the velocity log let me rotate this yes it is local right now uh, How do we get the location of this tip? Let's go here. And let's kill it and let's add the socket to the nozzle. Conveys conjoint here. Let's add a socket and not so. scene component nozzle I'll call it mg nozzle and attach to mg nozzle like this let me move it here then when I fire I'll uh, uh, initially without using a machine gun like behavior I'll just do one shot for testing so get the MG nozzle get word location and get control rotation form actor from class here I'll use bullet and as the spawn transform I'll use the location and the control rotation so it will be I think it would be uh, looking at the direction where we looking through the camera And when we press, we need to call IMG. Let 
that's huge. Let me go up. Why is it so huge? Ah, the scale is here very small. Okay. This scale should remain at one, and this one should be small. Oh, wait. Oh, this one also has to be small. Otherwise, uh, this would look large. So, this one should be one. This one has to be for zero. Yeah, and when we spawn, also we have to do the same. We can see the bullets. Right. To see this clearly, let's uh, spawn system at location. Let's use the same location and. Uh, Let's use a muscle flash effect. How about this one? Let's check. Okay, this will do. Now oh, let's add that without a spawning. Let's add it, attach it here to the nozzle. Right, so that we can see it. And I'll disable auto activation. As we shoot, I'll add, I'll activate this. And as I can see, the projectiles are not moving. I increased the size a little bit, but you can see it's a stain here for some reason. So, why? Here. Yeah. Let's say after one second or some time, let's. Uh, or maybe. It is colliding with the mesh, collision of this mesh. 
helicopter let's see is that the case we have some colliders here seems to be the case right then let's temporarily let's move it outside like this and see if the birds are moving yeah they are Okay, right, and uh, then let's use another approach instead of using this projectile movement here. Let's move, let's move it through code. So, for that, I'll create a custom event move to. and here's the an input we need the target to. Mm, Oh, I'll call it shoot target. Right. And then here yeah, after spawning, oh, I'll move back this nozzle object here. Then let's do a line trace. Right channel starting from the camera location. Ending from rotation forward vector. Let's multiply this by a huge value. Let's say fifty thousand. We can change it later. Add to this vector so that we can get a far away point from the camera <coughs> and if we get hit promote this as the shoot target otherwise promote this furthest point that means this one as the shoot target then we need a reference to this created bullet Promote bullet Let's call move to with short target. Let a debug type just for testing. Did I implement more to yet? No, but let's see if we get the line trace. We do. Okay, now let's implement more to.
get the location and calculate the distance. From here to target, divide this by let's say thousand or oh, five hundred just to be able to see the object clearly moving. And let's call one two from the starting point. To this target point within this time and rotation we don't need to change so it world rotation and use it Sorry, target location should be shoot target. Now you can see the bullet is moving, but it's very slow. See, okay, so that means we have to increase the speed. Let's also add a sound effect here. Press on that location as the sound that should be used. We have machine gun sound. What's the sound you are using for machine gun? This one. Okay, let's use this one. Location is the nozzle location. And now let's make this a machine gun. So to do that, here, let's add another boolean variable, fire. By default, it should be false. Firing to true when we release. Set firing to false. Here. Let's have a delay 1.2, maybe good enough. Branch if we are still firing, we can call this fire again. Now let's test. It is working. Mm. Let's decrease this. Delay. And what else? 
let me move up oh one more thing let's remove this uh, line race as well Now we can see the project tiles but they are not destroyed so actually it would be better if we can have uh, if we can apply the object pooling pattern here instead of for creating and destroying so but we will look into that in a later episode for now let's just destroy it after we move to the certain location that we need let's just uh, set life span to 1 and also we need to implement damaging and uh, in bullet impact particles and also object pool pattern to prevent creating and destroying bullets so let's look into those things in future episodes and thanks for watching so as always project files will be available for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club see you in another episode goodbye